So hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of SnowRunner. This is episode 7. If you guys could be awesome, subscribe to the channel if you guys are not subscribed already. I believe the last episode, for example, I think around 52% of people were subscribed. So there's definitely room for more subscribers. Um, so I appreciate um, all your support on this series so far. It's been absolutely incredible. We are about to pick up some fuel. Yes, we are. Also... I went back into the, the graphics menus and the game should look even better. I know. You may notice it already, I'm not sure. It does look more more crisp, I think it's fair to say. Definitely looks a bit better. For sure. So we're going to head to the farm. We are going to deliver the fuel. Uh, drop off the fuel and then go and pick up the bricks from the warehouse. That is the plan. Actually, I'm going to make a plan. So we can do is set up some navigation. Reason to grab this upgrade here on the way. It does extend the journey by quite a bit, but it's sort of on the way, I guess. So let's go to here first, and then go to here, and then go to here. That is my goal. Let's get to it. That is the journey we will proceed with right now. Yeah, so maybe the game's gonna look even better now. I mean, it's running around you guys might be better to see this actually, the FPS count. About 55 to 62 ish, which isn't too bad. But yeah, ideally, I'd obviously like it to be smack on 60 the whole time. PC Master Race and all that. I'm guessing the Xbox and the PS4 is probably 30 FPS, I would imagine. A bit of a random guess. It does drop quite a bit actually. Yeah, that was. Ooh, what happened there? I was looking at my FPS counter. Whoops, I definitely hit something. Ouchie, that hurt. Yeah, it went down to about 50 though. 40-ish. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, for this episode, we're going to leave it as it is, but I might turn it down a little bit. Just because I don't want to ruin the experience. I want it to be a nice, a nice, a nice FPS. A nice 60 FPS the whole time. Of course. But let's get this fuel delivered. Let's get the essentials delivered to the farm. Remember, Michigan is still uh, struggling with the floods. They've been hit hard, and we're basically helping them out a little bit. We are Amazon Prime. <laughs> they ask for something, it gets delivered the next day. Yes, it does. I know it's a little bit delayed at the moment, especially in the UK. It used to be literally, you order something, it comes the next day, whatever it was. And now it depends on what you order, I believe. So if it's classed as essential, it may arrive the next day. If it's not essential, like a video game or something, it may take a bit longer, apparently. Yeah, the FPS is definitely struggling at times. I mean, that is quite a... F the draw distance on that is quite far. It's probably why it's struggling. It's like, oh my god! There's so much content to load in! I'm dying! Yeah, we'll have to turn it down in the, in the next episode. Whoops. I shouldn't have changed it, okay? I'm sorry. Whoopsie doodles. So we're going to be turning right here. It does look a bit muddy. And yes, there is a risk, an element of risk to this. Do I do this or not? Do I risk it? How far is it? I'll just give it a go. Screw it. Let's do it. All-wheel drive, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, the game does look really good, though. When it's a 60 FPS and it just, you just sort of pan over, it's like, wow. This is a pretty game, that's for sure. It's actually not that far at all. We should be alright. It's actually very bumpy. Jeez. Very bumpy. Yeah, I was going to maybe get a trailer and try and grab the bricks at the same time, but we basically go past the farm to get to the bricks. So I was like, no, we'll just put it on the flatbed. It's getting a little bit hilly. I want this upgrade. Might have to lock the diff in a second. Come on! Let's just lock the diff now. Go! It's got that scary moment when the, the truck sort of <laughs> just goes backwards briefly when I'm trying to change gear. It's a little bit terrifying, not gonna lie. Okay, this is slow going. Are we getting stuck or is it just a hill? It is rather hilly, isn't it? This is probably a bad call, but. There we go. Uh, what's in my way now? 
guess a bit of a tree. So we're going to try and we... Uh oh. Uh, yeah, cancel that. <laughs> do not want to do that. Again, no. Attach it to the front. And there's a tree over there. There we go. There we go. I can see that grade. It just flashed up briefly. Yeah, maybe this isn't quite the path I should be taking with a truck. Whoops. There is a, a massive chance we can get stuck here. And that is not a good idea. No, I'm going backwards. Trying to grab that tree. Uh, there we go. Got it. Please don't tip over. Please don't tip over. Please don't tip over. Please don't tip over. I mean, I would also like to add that I... We are carrying fuel right now. Yeah. Big kaboom. If something goes wrong. I think we made it though. Just about. <laughs> Just about made it. We have arrived. What is it? Ooh. So it's an upgrade. An engine. 4.4. It's not for this current truck, but still. That's pretty good. 4.4. Damn. I'll take the diff off. We're going down the hill now, so we might be okay. He says no. <laughs> I take that back. It doesn't even look that bad. It's just a bit... I mean... It looks fairly bad. In fact, a bit more power. There we go. Easy. Let's try and reverse it. Flip and reverse it. I'm going to go back down the hill. Ideally, the fuel still attached to the flatbed. That, that's, that's the goal. Again, we're Amazon Prime. Next day delivery. I don't care about no floods or no heal. Take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. You see how much easier it is? I know it's obvious, but the fact we're going down here, it's so much quicker. As I just hit, ironically, my, my tank, my fuel tank on my truck, which is quite ironic. I mean, it's probably the first time I've ever hit it. On well, a truck, it is actually fairly exposed. You can see it on the sides there. I was trying to work out why it's got an indent um, cut out of it, but then I worked it out. Let's see if you guys can work it out. It's pretty, yeah. It's got a little indent on the fuel tank. Why is that? I worked it out. Okay. I was just saying. It took me a while, but <laughs> I worked it out eventually. I'm so stupid. Alright, let's go drop off the fuel. Let's go and get the bricks after that. This has been uh, quite the task. So we're going to go... I wish there was a, a better stretch of road going to the farm. Because this is hazardous, to say the least. It's not great. Moments like this, I'm glad we have a snorkel. I'm glad we have a raised suspension. I'm so incredibly pleased. <laughs> so pleased. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I still think I need to look at all the vehicles we have. Uh, back in, is it, I can't remember the town. Is it River or something? The original town we started in. Oh. Tank down to 5 FPS today. Wow. Uh, yeah, I want to work out exactly what we can sell, what we need to keep, uh, where we invest stuff like that because we have we have capital we have vehicles that we can sell i think there might be vehicles in this world as well this particular part of the map so i want to find those of course i'm hoping that is it we can deliver the fuel we should get a nice bit of xp for this a nice bit but nice bit of money as well which would be nice nice little treat Again, water, mud. Cheers, guys. Great stuff. But we are going to deliver the fuel, the essentials. Now, we're going to go all the way to the warehouse. On the road again! I think we may try and avoid that water next time because it's just getting so deep and muddy. And it, you can easily get stuck. I know this Fleet Star has a few upgrades, but... Is it the ultimate off-road vehicle? Uh, no. 
Definitely not. Far from it. Alright, so there is the dam. Just keep going. This will be intriguing. I'm actually quite excited to see the dam. We've not been here before. Uncharted territory. Oh, wow. Hey, this is cool. An actual dam. So, so cool. Pretty sure I can hear the water flooding through. Actual proper dam. Oh, yeah, I should turn off orbital drive. That saves... I, don't, I might actually check it out. So, we're running about four litres a minute-ish. If you turn all-wheel drive on. Yeah, it's about the same, actually. I mean, it might help out a little bit in terms of fuel consumption, but not massively. We'll just have a bridge over there. Interesting. All right, so this is the warehouse. Is this the warehouse? No, that's a trailer store, I believe. So this must be the next exit. Do you sell any different trailers out of interest? So we've got uh, a semi-trailer flatbed, got a fuel carrier, a flatbed trailer, sideboard, semi, ramped, maintenance, service, heavy duty, low ball trailer. Okay. But I need a saddle for that. Which I don't have. Interesting. Very interesting. I think they're ones we've seen before, to be honest, but I was just intrigued. And it's like, yeah, we definitely have a bridge that we need to fix. Maybe that'll be our next job. Who knows? Detour. Turn left. You've intrigued me. But anyway, this is the warehouse. Water over road. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. So what does the bridge need? I guess we're going to investigate. I guess. I would like some bricks, please. If that's possible. Brickety brick. So concrete slabs and bricks. We need two bricks. And then the farming essentials are done. Finally. <laughs> Gonna have a quick little nose to see what that bridge needs. Just because I'm curious. I would imagine metal planks or wood. Potentially. Honestly, don't know. But I've not seen a, a lumber mill around here yet, so that could be quite a journey. Quite a journey indeed. What does this bridge need? Let's have a look. Looks like they're trying to maybe... Potentially... Is that Smithfield Bridge discovered? Let's have a look. What do you need? Wooden planks times two. Yay. <laughs> Fantastic. So maybe if I can try and get across the water. It does look pretty deep. Hmm. I'm curious. Very curious. I'll have to come back to it here at some point. But for now, we'll deliver the bricks. Let's get it done. We know what to do. Oh, so it's called the Elizabetha. Elizabetha. Elizabeth, the dam. <laughs> I don't know what I said it like that for. The Elizabetha. Elizabeth Dam. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, a lot of people want me to skip the night time. I, I sort of get it, but that's a part of the game. And that, they, they put it in the game because it makes it more trickier to get around. So I don't really want to make my life easier by just skipping time every time it gets slightly dark so i'm gonna leave it for now i know it it always seems to happen when i'm playing it seems to always go dark i don't know why that is especially recently right i might take this path here because this bit is just getting too crazy it's getting too wet too muddy it ain't working so let's go to there let's turn left and then exit here so at least i know roughly where i'm going I don't want to get lost. I don't want to waste my time. We want to get this done. This is taking too long. Far too long. Right, 
So the exit's here on the left. Wow, I can barely see that. Okay, fair enough. Common bricks. All wheel drive, definitely. Yeah, this is definitely easier. Well, I say that. It's just not as wet. It's not rivers of water everywhere. Which we definitely don't want. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And where do we turn off? We keep going for now. Yeah, this is definitely um, the, the longer route. The more... Scenic route, I think is the right word. For sure. It's amazing how much fuel you use, like, going at this speed. But it's just the wheels just spinning up constantly. It's so draining on the on the truck with its heavy bricks on its back. So it tries to carry it. It's like um, if we carry a, a backpack as a human and we are running, it's, it just takes more out of you. Every time you do that step, it's it, it's more there's more weight. Not quite sure what I'm getting at, but you know, almost there. Come on, come on, trucky, my little star. I always call it my little star because it is. It never lets me down until today. No, 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 no! Don't say that. It will never let me down. actually can't wait until this is done. <laughs> it's, it's taken me so long to do this task. So long. So much effort. We get it ticked off. Once and for all. Again, we're still waiting to get to level 6. I think once we reach level 6, I will probably go to the uh, um, Alaska. I think that's the plan. That will take a little bit of time yet. I think it's good to do that. We need to get the, the chain tires. The we need to be ready for the snow. We can't take the snow lightly. That's for sure. There it is. There's a drop-off point. We are so close. So close. Hoping these essentials will help out this farm. In a great way. Matthews and Sons. And we are done. Yes, we promoted as well. Wow, that was a lot of XP and a lot of money. Yes. Right, so we have two options here. We can go and get this. The sideboard semi-trailer. Or we can go across the river. The county has no bridge. And get this, which is a flat bed, I believe. Hopefully both of these have at least two woods on them. Hopefully. Two wooden planks. That'd be great. But I think I'm going to take the risk. I want to get across the river. Get the trailer. Bring it back. Make the bridge. I think that's what we're going to try and do. I'm not going to lie. I am nervous about this. Very nervous. This is deep. Thank God we're raised, though. Thank God we had the snorkel. I say this all the time. So it gives us a, it gives us a little chance. A small chance, potentially. But this is going to be a... Yeah, I'm sort of expecting to fail. <laughs> right, anyway. Engage, all-wheel drive. Should I just engage the diff straight away? No, I won't. Let's give it a go. Come on. Wow, I think I'm stuck already. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, I think I'm actually stuck already. Oh, once we've got a winch. Yes. I don't know what I grabbed onto. But it has saved us. Thank you. It's like a bit of log stuck in the, uh, the stream, basically. We'll keep on going, though. Let's try and grab something else. Okay, without the winch, this would not have been possible. I can confirm. Just realised more so my fuel is actually very, very low right now. Very low. Right, we are, we are, we are. Yeah, it should be okay. Woo! Yeah, without the winch, that would not have been possible. And I guarantee, in the later levels, uh, that the stuff to winch on won't be there. So, yeah, we have a lot to improve on. That was a bit, a bit of luck. Put it that way. 
bit of luck indeed. But hopefully, the trailer has the wooden planks we need. Fingers crossed. I mean, that's the goal, isn't it? I did say there was definitely one here. I hope. Oh, there it is. Okay. I know where to go. So it's the next exit. There's a mission there as well. Contract. Tarsk. Come back for that. Some sort of drowned vehicle. And the trailer. Uh, where's it gone again? Keep, dis keeps disappearing. Should be just there. Are you there? Is something there? Yes. Yes, yes. That looks like two wooden planks to me. Yes! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New trailer discovered. Yes! Perfect. So if I had, I believe, a crane, we could transfer the resources, the wooden planks, onto our flatbed. If we had a crane. I don't currently have a crane, though. Yeah, that is an option. Which also is very cool. Um, I wouldn't say it's too far away. I'd say it's too close, if anything. There we go. It's attached. So let's... Hmm. How do I want to tackle this? How do I want to tackle this? Do I want to try and turn around? <laughs> oh, why do I do this to myself? I might try and go through the trees, to be honest. Maybe cut through the house. Sorry! 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 Coming through. This is an emergency. I'm trying to fix that bridge nearest. Um, it's really near you, I promise. I'm doing this for a good reason. I promise, I promise, I promise. Should be able to get through. Unlucky fisherman. Oh, did he get a bit stuck? What a shame. So that risk definitely paid off. Trying to cross that river, I knew it was a massive, massive risk. But it might work out for us. Oh, yes. All right. Let's see. Accept. Cargo management. There we go. The bridge is done. It's going to be a riggedy little wooden bridge, but... It'll help us out a lot. It's still gonna... Yeah. Perfect. Happy with that. It's been a very, very... Very productive episode. Unlucky Fisherman. So that's where he's stuck. Is there any... Watchtowers around here? There's one way over here. This map is massive. There's one here. I'm trying to work out what I can do before my, my fuel runs out. Have to call recovery. Do I try and make... A journey to this watchtower? Which looks fairly far away. I could give it a go. 42 litres of fuel left. How far can we get? Find out. Oh, no, in, in this episode. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to stop it there. 700, and, 700 metres, basically, to the watchtower. Can we get there? Question mark. I don't know. I don't know. I'm intrigued. Let's take all-wheel drive off to save that little bit of extra fuel. This will be intriguing. That's for sure. It's down to 600. Oh, what's down here? A tunnel. A what? You are kidding me. Tunnel to where? Does this map open up even more? No. Surely not. What? I am confused. I am lost and confused. That is crazy. If that's true, wow. That is insane. Do I follow this road? I guess so. Be prepared for the unexpected. Why does it always say that? I'm still refusing to put all-wheel drive on. No, we're good. We're good. These highway tyres are so good. <laughs> Said no one ever. What's, happened to, what's all these rocks about? What happened here? Oh, turn, turn, turn. There we go. It's amazing. When you get to a certain speed, certain vehicles become just uncontrollable. It's kind of scary. 
I guess I'm used to driving like F1 cars. <laughs> this is a little bit different. This is very different. Uh, we have 33 litres left. Look at that view. That is swamp. Pure swamp. Okay, now we need all-wheel drive. Just briefly. How, how are we getting further away? Damn it. Okay, I can see it. That looks very, very far away. 30 litres left. Look what I found. A sideball trailer. Very nice. That's got and a spare parts, I believe. I think it's spare parts. Let's keep on going. Okay, now it's getting a little bit off-roady. I mean, I was, I was expecting it. Most watchtowers are covered in off... Oh, yeah, so we keep... Yeah, if we keep following this road, we might be able to get to it. But again, we're running very, very low onto fuel. The fuel is running out. I was sort of hoping maybe we could find a, a fuel trailer or something. Or a, a gas stop. Potentially, but it's not happened. It's not happened. I wouldn't really use this truck as a as a scouting vehicle, but I mean we're here, so why not? I guess it is weird how relaxing and how intense this game can get at times. It's it's, it's so weird. It's such a weird feeling. Quick look at the map again. Again, this is uncharted territory. We don't quite know what to expect. So I guess we're going to go around. There's going to be a curve there. We just keep going up, but we're going to run out of fuel, I reckon. I really can't see us making it. I just can't see it. Again, the quality of roads around here is... It's just epic. <laughs> it's just... It's terrible. It's shocking. I thought UK roads were bad. For T five miles an hour. That is your max speed. 1,000 for littering. So what if we dumped some cargo just randomly here? Penalty fines. Okay, what happened here? Why is there so many rocks in the road? Someone needs to clean this up. 14 litres left. It's getting a bit tense. Road closed. Oh. What? I did not expect that around that corner. That was the last thing I expected. Are we getting closer? Not really. Not really. But again, again, at least we're still exploring. At least we're opening up the map a little bit. I guess. I can't believe there might be a tunnel to another part of Michigan. Potentially. I don't know. I've got no idea. But it did say there's a sign for a tunnel. Which normally means you transport to another another map. Which would just be absolutely insane if that's true. Nine litres. Eight litres. Try and turn off wheel drive. Yep, yeah, there we go. I'm about to run out. We are running on fumes. We are running on fumes. I don't think we can get to it. Oh, so annoying. Six litres. Because we're going up a hill as well. We are just burning through it. Absolutely burning through it. 7.4. Five, five litres left. Five litres left. We're going to run out, aren't we? So where is the watchtower? It's just... I'm actually getting very, very close. Damn. I think we literally have to turn right here. And it's like just there. Like just there. Oh, this is so annoying. It's like literally just there. No! We're going to run out. We have to go off road as well. Oh, no! No! Why? Completely out. I was so close as well. Literally up that bit of off roading, and we'd be there. It wouldn't take too long at all. Damn. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I think we needed about 10, 15 litres to get to the watchtower. We were so close, but yet so far. But thank you guys for your support. There will be affiliate links to this the, to the game in the description below. If you guys want to buy the game for yourself. It also gives me a little bit of a kickback. And uh, yeah, be safe. 
play video games. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.